Yeah, welcome back to a new day on TV3. We are going to do sports now. Of course, last night, oh, if you watched that Chelsea Arsenal game, I mean, one boring game. Arsenal, I'm not sure Giroud passes for a striker, but of course, Giroud has had his moments, scored some very beautiful goals, but disappointed in Chelsea. They couldn't beat that Arsenal team anyway that's just by the way we're going to talk about players today the contracts they sign sports law really how many lawyers in ghana really specialize in the sports because a lot of the time you hear of young players who have been robbed literally or you know short changed they're they're given contracts they sign they don't understand it's a very interesting um, industry here. But we've been joined by a sports lawyer. He's very, very experienced, made several players very rich, given them contracts. And I mean, at this particular moment, I want to be a footballer. John Blaver, good to see you. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Good morning. Um, good morning and Merry Christmas. I may not see you tomorrow. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> okay. Now, you are based in England. Yes. So what, what, what would you say is the level of um, knowledge for these contracts players sign for those coming from developing countries like ours? Yeah, I mean, you need a, a specialist lawyer like myself. Um, you know, uh, more, much more than an agent. Football agents are not lawyers. Mm -hmm. and, um, but they, it, they sometimes want to be Yeah, yeah they're doubling it. So a good agent will, you know, ask me. But as, as a sports lawyer, I can also be an agent at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we try and, you know, offer a one-stop shop for people, you know, coming from especially in you know, Africa and developing countries, who might not understand the complexities of contracts, uh, especially in Europe or uh, the developed countries. So, uh, as a personal testament and also commitment, I try and help people, um, you know, realize their dreams, and in, in return, then they can recommend us to other aspiring you know, sports people. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but what are some of the stories you've heard? I mean, there are some very <laughs> silly stories out yes. there and you kind of wonder how do these players get into that position? Yeah, I mean, um, a lot of, uh, you know, sort of uh, the stories uh, are based on, you know, uh, unscrupulous agents who more or less are in league with, you know, different parts of, say, uh, some of the, uh, the, uh, the other agents like um, uh, some of the um, uh, clubs and, you know, they defraud some of the people people who don't understand what they actually signing for and they might sign the wrong contracts um, you know because sometimes the clubs instruct some of the agents to get them players and in return they get some sort of money uh, either straightforward or you know under the table Wow mm -hmm. and so how many for instance how many specialized lawyers do we have for, for, for sports um, even in England it's not um, that many. Um, you know, it's a very specialist area because lots of people dabble in it. So, uh, as a as a, a sports person myself, um, oh, you're a sportsman. Uh, uh, yes, I used to. I used to play a bit of football. Oh. Uh, I I do lots of other sports as well. Um, okay. You know, so and I he's an Arsenal fan, by the way. Yeah, then. absolutely, <laughs> the best team in the world. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, you know, so I'm sort of fully committed in, in trying to, uh, in a way, you know, push this agenda forward. Uh, it's like a mini revolution and a, a very firm commitment to highlight uh, the issues with contracts because contracts are very serious matters mm -hmm. that affects you know people financially. And these days, you know, football is very, very big business. It's uh, a huge multi-billion pan industry in the UK alone and uh, we've got lots of players who are actually all over the world now not only in Europe you've got people in you know Eastern Europe uh, we're actually trying to develop as parent uh, players to start off in um, say parts of Eastern Europe and in UCS CIS countries to develop them and then bring them to Europe and in doing that we, we try and market or thinking about you know probably doing what company has done we've got uh, two or three uh, players or clients who are actually doing MBAs at the moment oh, to fantastic. try and you know, push their, some, uh, themselves forward beyond football. Uh, mm -hmm. And in football, you've got football uh, uh, development like uh, not only a coach, but you can be a, a director of football. Uh, you can then be a scout for players. So there's a, a, a you know, very... And are you thinking of setting up here in Ghana? Yes, yes. Uh, we are seriously thinking of setting up here. We've got a lot of uh, young Ghanaian players on our books. We uh, recently uh, managed to transfer, I think, about three or four to Azerbaijan. They're playing in the, in, okay. in the first division. And uh, I think in the next, <coughs> the, the next transfer window, we hope to bring them to Turkey, then to Europe. 
Okay, and I understand that you've made several players very rich. Yes. yes. Uh, you know, do you want do you want to give me a list of some of the um, players? Because of client confidential, but I can ah. give you one uh, who is quite okay. Uh, one of our most famous players played for Arsenal, the good team. Uh -huh. uh, he's called Loran. He he was a right back. Uh, he's retired now. He's a very good friend of ours, and uh, you know he's you know we help him invest. Uh, you know, sort of across the world, basically, because even then, they had very good money, but not as, not even as much as now. Uh, he's uh, managed to develop to have a, a, a huge portfolio of properties in uh, Spain, uh, Cyprus, England, and uh, you know he's also got you know a, a very good uh, Swiss bank account. So oh, nice. uh, at the moment, he's actually we managed to get him as an Arsenal ambassador. So he's also earning even uh, even though he's retired. Um, so he, he's you know one of the few success stories uh, that we've managed to make sure that he's fairly secure till uh, whenever. That's interesting. So how soon are you setting up here? Because uh, there are so many players who would want to benefit. Oh, excellent. We're hoping to set up probably in the next uh, 12 months or so. Oh. Um, you know, as a law firm, we're also trying to bring our law firm here. But before we start, we want to develop uh, our sports law brand first to, you know, obviously gather interest and also help people, you know, sort of at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the next 12 months, I'm sure you're going to be doing, holding a lot of meetings, yes. you know, strategies here and there. But do you see a growing interest for it? Oh, absolutely. Um, even with our setting up here uh, and, and through contacts and people that we know, uh, we've got, uh, I think, four players in Azerbaijan at the moment. Um, you know, during my visit here over Christmas, I'll be seeing about six more players. So mm -hmm. we'll have about ten. Uh, because uh, a lot of people are very keen to have Ghanaian players mm -hmm. because of obviously the success in the last World Cup and you know it's a, it's a, a talented nation we're full of very good players mm -hmm. and um, I you know I have you know I'm also acting for Derek at the moment okay. in Fulham FC he's very mm -hmm. proud to associate himself with us and we are as well so uh, we try to help him develop uh, his other aspects of life as well. Okay, that's very interesting. We'll be uh, looking out for your firm here in Ghana. But uh, I have just about uh, less than a minute to go. Um, before we go, how do people even, you know, get access to you? Um, we're very sort of easy to find on Google, uh, Blabber and Co. Solicitors. Uh, if you Google us, uh, you'll find us and the things that we're doing. Okay. okay, so Blavo and Co. Solicitors on Google, very simple. Thank you very much, uh, John Blavo, for your time this morning. We've been talking about sports law and players understanding the contracts they sign.